Tori, the hope dealer of guided intuition, and I am here to do your, um, what is your love story for the month of May, okay? And keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may resonate with some and it may not resonate with others. However, there are so many sweet souls that are sharing their gifts. You're going to find someone who picks up on your energy, and if I didn't pick you up in this energy, definitely check out my monthly spiritual guidance where I go over love, self-care, everything that spirit wants you to know um, in the month of May. But this is strictly catered to love, okay? Also, all of my information on how to contact me to schedule a, region, a reading, you can find in the description box below. So first thing first is Virgo. Somebody is reminiscing on what was, what could be. There's just this um, reflecting in the month of May that you're going to be doing or you, you are the person that has brought you here to this video, whether you met them, okay, or, you know, you're going to be thinking about them, whether there is a past or a present, but somebody is really reminiscing of you or you are really reminiscing of a person. I'm also feeling like this longing of wanting to connect or wanting to um, reach out and, and speak Okay, for some of you, I feel like this is a person that maybe you genuinely liked it, but things kind of like ended um, or it didn't go anywhere. Someone's focus was somewhere else. Um, for some of you, I feel like you could be getting an apology from somebody um, just how everything turned out or it played. Okay, that's what I'm, I'm feeling. But how I like to do my what is your love story? I like to pull some cards. Okay, just to see your overall um love story for the month of May. Okay. The theme of your love, your love life. Then I like to pull your energy concerning love, their energy concerning love. And then I like to do how you feel about them and how they feel about you. And then the outcome. Okay. For this month of May. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, pull your overall love story Virgo for the month of May spirit. Can you please show us Virgo's love story? For the month of May. Okay. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising's love story for the month of May. All right, spirit. I, I also feeling like someone, yeah, someone's going to be listening. Someone's going to be reaching out to you, um, Virgo, or wanting to talk, wanting to communicate. Okay. I want to pull this one. All right. So this is your overall love story. We have gratitude, inspiration. And openness okay so yeah I feel like there is a, a wanting to connect with the individual um, you know I feel like um, the connection was good it's nothing bad in this connection with gratitude there um, I feel like it didn't take its full maybe someone's thinking that something went left in the connection but it didn't because we have openness. So I feel like what happened, the lack of why this like really didn't, what it's lacking is openness, okay? This is what this connection is. Somebody is hiding their feelings, okay? Somebody's hiding how they feel, okay? Whether it's you or them, but someone, it's, it's time for someone to, yeah, open up, okay? Because um, and it's really like, you know, just speak their peace, you know, or just, or speak their, their emotions, you know, I feel like maybe if someone feels like they're, if they open up, that is, it's just going to be like the worst. Okay. So this could be a person that like, they don't want to like really speak their emotions. They don't want to really say, um, how they feel, but what's needed right now, whether it's you or them, I feel like if it's them, their intuition is going to be letting them know if it's you, this is me letting you know, <laughs> there's a certain amount of willingness that's needed in order for this connection to truly, truly thrive, whether you're in a connect, whether you guys are together or you're going to be getting together or you're still trying to make a decision about it. There is a certain amount of openness, willingness to be open, to really be vulnerable and put, put yourself out there. Okay. Because somebody is reminiscing. Okay. You know, somebody is reminiscing. So let's see if it's you or them. All right. Virgo. <coughs> Even as I said that, like, I feel like it's something stuck in my throat. So someone's going to be wanting, someone is wanting to communicate some truth. Okay. So let's look at your energy. Let's look at 
okay, we just got a card. Let me pick it up. All right, so we have the King of Swords. And I really feel like, so now I see who needs, who's desiring to open up to a person. I feel like it's you, Virgo. There is a person that you're desiring to um, open up because the King of Swords in this deck, it deals with, um, you know, fondness, okay? Um, I really feel like maybe you're still caught up on a past situation of past hurt, so you can't be present Okay, in your current relationship, because I feel like this person is really putting the moves on and this king is just like, yeah, not even here. But I feel like you want to be here. You like this person, but there's this, this afraidness to really open up because maybe there's a past situation, you know, that you're you're you're, um, you're still holding on to whether you're in a committed relationship or you're single. There's something from the past that you're still holding on to, okay? But I feel like this connection has, uh, you know, with this person, you feel for them with the Ten of Pentacles. There's a great yarning, you know, this is, you really admire this person, you really dig this person, okay? But I feel like there's just this, this um, scariness of you to open up, but there, you have to be vulnerable. That is a word that I was talking about in my daily guidance this month is vulnerability. The month of May is truly asking for us to be vulnerable, put ourselves in positions that feel uncomfortable and that we usually wouldn't put ourselves in. Okay, now we're going to look at their energy. Okay, let's see how they are feeling when it comes to love. Spirit, how is Virgo's person that they are inquiring about or why they are here? How do they feel love? What is their overall love energy for the month of May, Spirit? I want to grab this one. Get this. Okay. Right here with the seven of wands, I feel like they're a little nervous too to open up, you know, um, but they're really trying. They're really present in this, um, in this connection, you know, even though they are, you know, terrified, I feel like they're still being open, even though, you know, the past may be haunting them. They're choosing to like put it, put, put everything in a bag. And I feel like you could be holding back. Okay, or if you're identifying with this side and if you're identifying with this side and they're this. Either way, someone is um, holding back. You're both like, someone's holding back. Someone feels a great love or a great connection. Like, okay, this is real. Like, this could be it. But you're cautious because of your past. And I'm not saying, you know, don't be cautious. Like, don't pay attention to the red, sag, the red flags. But this person is genuinely invested this person is giving you enough for you to open up you get what i'm saying virgo so i feel like um they have their their doubts too and they've been scarring when it comes to love but they are making a decision to you know overcome those thoughts you know what i'm saying and really put their self out there so i feel like this is a perfect opportunity yeah you know what i'm saying this is the perfect opportunity for you um you know you to do the thing you to do the same thing is what i'm seeing okay so that's how they're feeling with, you know, how they stand on love. They're nervous about love, but they are wanting to still communicate, wanting to still be open with you and be vulnerable with you. I feel like you feel this strong passion towards them, but being what happened in the past, Virgo, you're kind of holding back. But, you know, you really want to open up. I really feel like it's a lot that can, even if you're in a relationship with this person, a lot can come out. A lot can be more. Okay. A lot can come, come out of it if you really open up to this person. Okay. So now we're going to look at, you know, um, how they feel about you and how you feel about them. OK, let's see how you feel about them. How does Virgo? OK, oh God. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. OK, Virgo. Yeah. OK, so I'll bet we got the nine of pentacles reversed. The. um. The ancestor reverse, and then we have the shaman. So the ancestor upright, it, it deals with, you know, wanting to create, okay? Your guards are up. And I feel like the more that maybe they, they like, they show you that they're in this, the scarier that you get. I really feel like fear because upright, these are some beautiful cards, okay? Um, but there's a deep healing that has to take place inside of your heart, Virgo. To really be open to this connection. Because I don't know. Maybe this person is like really handsome. I really feel like this person is in the spotlight. This person just really brings. You know like um, triggers your insecurities. Okay. When it comes to yeah. Because there's there's a great healing. Okay. 
a healing going on with you and a, a certain issue or relationship from the past. Okay. But I feel like this is a person to just really open up with. Okay. Now let's see how they feel. I feel like your intuition is telling you that, but you're, you're still like, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> That's not what we're doing over here. We're not doing that. So let's see how they feel about you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, we have the nine of bows and then a 10 of the 10 of vessels dealing with the 10 of cups. So with the nine of bows, it's all about respect, understanding that there's a process. And I feel like they respect that you're healing. They respect you. They feel like you're worthy of it to wait for. But I really feel like, you know, overall, they feel really good about you. They know that you're healing. So this person does, you know, respect, you know, what you're going through. But um, they, they do like you. You know, I do see this person waiting. I don't see this per person giving up on you. You get what I'm saying? I see like they're they're willing to take the time. I feel like there's a strong connection and they truly want to dive deeper in this connection or they want to see where this can go. But it's going to require you <laughs> to really open up, okay, and be present, all right? So let's see the outcome for um, you guys in the month of May. Let's see. Okay, well, look at that. <laughs> the bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. So, of course, I know that you're going to have to make a decision if you're going to open up to this person in the May of the month to really experience, um, experience, yeah, look. To experience victory, to experience, you know, to really get the all of the just of this connection and what this person um, can offer you, because I really feel like they're offering um, you something good in this cup. However, you're afraid because maybe you can't see the outcome. You, you, you could possibly like still keep them at a distance or not really fully open up to them in the month of May, because we have the, um, the four of cups, which deals with the missed opportunity, because I feel like you're focusing on the past. You're focusing on, you know, well, when last time I opened up and last time, you know, I like really put myself in this place, you know, this is what happened, you know, but I feel like this person genuinely cares about you. This person genuinely vibes about you. Okay. Let's see what they're, what they want to tell you. You know, what do they wish they could tell you? concerning your wounds of the past okay oh wow whatever you know honestly this person is so sweet and this person is so kind because they don't even have anything negative i really feel like with the eight of bows this was a, a, a job well done you know they're very proud of you they're very proud that you're even opening up <laughs> in the way that you're opening up virgo you know they see your struggle but they feel like you're going to get through it with the four of bows dealing with a celebration they feel that you're going to free yourself and, and, you know, really open up and really they feel they're not giving up on you. They're not going to give up on you. They're not. They're not going to give up on you. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> All right, my love muffins. So I hope that this has made some sense. As always, I love you guys so freaking much. It was such an honor to read for you. All of my information on how to contact me is in the, in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm friendly and I will catch my love muffins on my channel. Take care.